Keep your heads up and your arms covered, family. Here's the verse of the day, and it's 1 Corinthians 6.20. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. We're all yours, Jesus Christ. Now on to the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And today is the first full supermoon of this quadrilogy. And as you can see on this picture I made, the second supermoon is on Tu Biav, the day of love, August 1st. And the third supermoon is on August 31st. And those two supermoons, full moons in August, is what makes the blue moon on August 31st. And then the fourth supermoon of this quadrilogy is on September 29th, the eve of Sukkot. And it's gigantinormous, and it's stacked. But Jesus Christ could come today, so we're going to try to stick to July for right now. And you already know, Israel's 75 now. And Isaiah said, after the end of 70 years, that the Lord will visit. And Jeremiah said, for thus saith the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you. And we know this is the last generation, Psalms 90.10. The days of our years are 70 years, and if by reason of strength they be 80 years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. And since Israel's 75, we're sitting right in the middle of the gap in between 70 and 80 years, and we're about to fly away. All right, so I seen this comment from Angel's Footprints, and it says, Patrick, can you tell me what it shows for July 17th? And I said, God willing, yes, I will and planned on it. Thank you, family, and Jesus Christ bless you. And then Aaron said, God bless you, brother, I can't wait. So we know July 17th is 717, and in Hebrew, that looks like God's name. So every year it stands out to us, this date. And I'm not saying that it is the rapture. What I'm saying is every year it's a high watch date. Because these things are very special to us. And I'm starting to feel your Holy Spirit. All glory to you, Father. Thank you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So just imagine if we're caught up on 717. Wouldn't that be something to celebrate and talk about? and praise him for to me it would be really special 726 too same thing every year it's a super high watch date because in bible strong's concordance 726 the definition is harpazo caught up so the definition is rapture now wouldn't that be something to talk about at the wedding supper of the lamb Oh, Jesus Christ, you're so awesome. Family, I can't believe he caught us up on 726. I got the Holy Spirit all over me, family. So we're looking for our blessed hope. And I'm hoping he comes today on the full moon. But we're going to go over 717 right now just in case we're still here. And it is gigantinormous. And here's another reason why. When you go to time and date, you can see UTC time, universal time for the new moon, is expected at 1831. I highlighted it for you. And when you go to Bible Strong's Concordance for 1831, Hebrew is juice. But the Greek definition is to go or come out of. And that's what we're waiting to do, is to go to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And now I'll walk you through Stellarium straight to the new moon. And as you can see right now, the super moon is in what they call Sagittarius. And as you start going through the days, you could see it past Saturn. You could see it past what they call Pisces, Cetus. And right there on 7-Eleven, you could see it's in conjunction with Jupiter right under what they call Aries, right where the last total blood moon eclipse happened. 
And as you keep going through the days, you can see the moon pass Uranus, Pleiades, what they call Taurus, the bull. And as you move to 717, you can see that the moon is lined up with the sun on 717. That's the new moon that's at 1831. The definition is to go or come out of in Bible Strong's Concordance. And as you can see right under that is what they call Mercury. And when you zoom in, you can see right next to what they call Mercury is Thyra. And when you look up Thyra in the Bible Strong Concordance, it's Greek 2374. And the definition is door, a portal or entrance. And on 717, you can see right there that Esther is with the sun and the moon as well. Now I'll take you to the asteroid Yeshua, which is Yahua and Yeshua combined. And as you can see right here, on 717, Yeshua is right next to what they call Spica. And Spica, the definition is wheat. And on 717, you can see that asteroid Groom is in what they call Aquarius, the water bearer, next to Saturn. But here's what's gigantinormous. The asteroid China, it's right on top of what they call Saturn, with the asteroid Russia right next to it. There's Saturn, and there's China. And if you remember my beautiful, loving wife, Christina's dream, 725 was there. And everyone was freaking out, panicking, trying to find 811, but they could not find 811. But 725 was there, so we go through the days to 725. And as you can see, the moon is right below what they call Virgo, the woman. And as you go through the hours to 726, you could see on 726, that's when the moon enters what they call Libra, the scale. And on 726, the sun is about to skim by Praecipe, the beehive cluster. And on 727, it's closing in. 728, 729, by 730, if we're still here, it'll be right next to the beehive cluster Praecipe. And remember, 726 and 727 this year is the ninth of Av, the Jewish people's worst day in history when the temple was destroyed twice on that date, the ninth of Av. I've been going over it for years, but this year it's on 726, Harpazo. And I was hoping he came yesterday to open the graves and lift us up, but his timing's perfect. And when the rapture happens, it'll be perfect. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. I'm still pushing, family. And God willing, I'm going to keep laboring until we're caught up. And praise our Father for you listening to Jesus' voice and donating and making this possible. All glory to our Father. So hold fast, family, and don't lose hope. Any second we could be sitting down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven with Jesus Christ.